Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. My name is Ezra Anderson, and today we're going to create a cute ice cream design. To begin our ice cream design, we're going to draw two circles for our scoops of ice cream. So let's select the ellipse tool, and while holding down shift, we'll click and drag to make perfectly proportional circles. I'm going to make the big circle a light blue. And I'll make the small circle a light pink. We'll also need to remove the stroke from each one of these circles. To do this, we'll just select the stroke color and then press on the no fill icon to remove the stroke. I'll do the same for the other circle. Next, we're going to flatten the bottom part of our pink ice cream scoop. To do this, we'll select the pink circles layer and the vector crop tool. Then we'll just bring up the bottom part of this circle. Now we'll use the move tool to reposition our circles. I'll place both circles in the center of the document and then bring the blue circle up so it lines up with the bottom part of the pink scoop. We'll need to make sure the blue circle is at the bottom of our layers though. Then I'll zoom in a little bit so I can be more precise. Then I'll press Command or Control 0 so we can see the entire document again. Using the Move tool, I'll click and drag to select both of these circles and then make them a little bit smaller by using this corner handle. Just remember to hold down Shift to keep their size proportional. Then I'll place them back in the center of the document. Next, we're going to create the eyes for our pink ice cream scoop. To do this, we'll pull out the ellipse tool and click and drag to make a circle. Then we're going to remove the fill and give it a black stroke. Coming over to the stroke panel, we'll make the stroke a little bit thicker. All we want is a half circle though, so we're going to use the vector crop tool to crop the bottom half of this circle. Then we can use the move tool to move this half circle over onto our ice cream scoop. It looks like our vector crop tool took off part of the top of our circle, so I'm going to bring back out the vector crop tool and bring up the top and side to make sure those aren't being cropped. The width also looks a little too big, so I'm going to decrease the width in the stroke panel. Then using the move tool, I'll place this half circle in the center of our ice cream cone. Although I think it's still a little too big, so I'm going to shrink it and then place it back in the center. Then I'll duplicate it two times by pressing Command or Control J twice. I'll move the top circle 50 pixels to the right by coming down to the transform panel and typing in plus 50 in the X axis. Then I'll select the second circle and move it 50 pixels to the left by typing in negative 50. Then we'll select the bottom circle and bring it down a little ways. Then we'll rotate it 180 degrees by clicking and dragging on this circle at the top. Just remember to hold down shift to keep your rotation in 15 degree increments. In your own design, you can continue to refine the size and spacing of all of these half circles. But for this tutorial, I think you get the idea for how to make the face for our pink ice cream scoop. Next, we'll work on the face for the blue ice cream scoop. First, I'll pull out the ellipse tool and click and drag to make a circle. Then we'll come over to the color panel and remove the stroke and give it an almost white fill. We want to make the fill just slightly bluish, so I'm going to come over to the blue side and make it so it has just a little bit of blue, but it's almost white. Then I'll use the vector crop tool to take off the top half of this circle. Remember to make sure none of the sides are being cut off on your circle. Using the move tool, I'll make this eye a little bit bigger. 
To make the pupil for the eye, I'll duplicate the circle by pressing Command or Control J, and then make its color nearly black. Then we can shrink the circle, and then reposition it at the top center of the eye. I'll group both of these circles by selecting both in the Layers panel by holding down Shift and clicking on the second layer, and then press Command or Control G to group them. Then we'll duplicate the group by pressing Command or Control J. We'll bring the second group to the right. Then I'll select both groups and put them inside of another group. Then we'll place this group in the center of our ice cream scoop. And while we're at it, I'll group all of the layers that make the face for our pink ice cream scoop. To do this, I'll select all of the layers by holding down Command or Control while clicking on the other layers, and then group them by pressing Command or Control G. This just helps to keep our layers panel organized. Next, we'll make the mouth for our blue ice cream scoop. To do this, we'll use the triangle tool. If you don't have this tool out, just click and hold over on this tool, and then select the triangle tool. Then click and drag to make a triangle. We want to make it so this triangle has no fill, but does have a nearly black stroke. Right now we have the exact opposite of this, so I'm going to switch the colors by pressing on this arrow right here. Now we want to remove the bottom part of our triangle, which we can do by first pressing Convert to Curves, and then clicking and dragging to select the bottom two nodes. Then we'll come up to the contextual toolbar to break the curve by pressing this icon here. Over in the Layers panel, you can see that our triangle has now been split into two layers. I'm going to take this bottom layer and delete it. Then using the Move tool, I'll resize and position our mouth. And to keep our layers panel organized, I'm going to put it in the same group as the eyes. Next, we're going to add some cheeks to both of our ice cream scoops. First, let's give our blue ice cream scoop some cheeks. To do this, I'll select the blue circle and then duplicate it by pressing Command or Control J. Then I'm going to make this second circle just slightly darker in the color panel. Then I'll make it quite a bit smaller. Remember to hold down Shift to keep the circle proportional. Then we can place this circle on the ice cream scoop. I think I want mine slightly bigger than this. To make our second cheek, I'm going to duplicate this circle by clicking and dragging on it while holding down Alt or Option. I'm going to make it so both of these cheeks line up with the edge of the eyes. When you're working on a design like this, make sure that you have snapping turned on as it will make things much easier. We'll now repeat the same process to add cheeks to our pink ice cream cone. First, I'll select the pink circle and then duplicate it by pressing Command or Control J. Then I'll make it just a little bit darker. Then we'll make it smaller while holding down Shift, of course. And we'll want to remove this vector crop, so I'm going to open up this group and then select the crop rectangle and delete it. Now I'll continue resizing and positioning this cheek. I'm going to line up this cheek with the left eye. If it's not snapping correctly, just make sure you have the face selected and then you can come back to the circle and it should snap correctly. Then I'll hold down Alt or Option to duplicate this circle and line it up over on the right side. Next, we're going to add some shading on the right side of our ice cream scoops. I'm first going to zoom out though by pressing Command or Control Zero. Let's start with the blue ice cream scoop. First, I'll select this circle and then duplicate it by pressing Command or Control J. Then I'll bring this duplicate copy over to the right. We'll need another copy of this circle, so I'll press Command or Control J once again. We can see the third circle was moved the same distance that we moved the second circle. This is a function of Affinity Designer 
called Power Duplicate. We want both of our circles to be on top of each other though, so I'm going to bring this third circle and line it back up on top of the other one. We're now going to move this top circle up and to the left. To do this, I'll hold down Shift and use the up and left arrow keys on my keyboard. Then I'll select both circles and use the subtract boolean operation. Then I'm going to make this circle just a little bit lighter. Then we can line it up on the right side of our ice cream scoop. You can see that we've now added a nice highlight to the right side of our ice cream scoop. We'll repeat the same process for the top ice cream scoop. First select the pink circle and then duplicate it by pressing Command or Control J. Then we'll bring it over to the right so we can see it better. Before we duplicate it though, we're going to delete the vector crop rectangle. Then we'll select the circle again and duplicate it once more. This time, our third circle did not move the same distance that the second circle did. This is because Power Duplicate only works if you don't unselect the object. Because we unselected the circle to select the vector crop rectangle, our third circle did not move the same distance that the second one did when we duplicated it. Fortunately, this is exactly what we wanted. Now all we need to do is move this top circle up and to the left just as we did with the other circles. Then we'll select both of them and use the subtract boolean operation. Then we'll make it a slightly lighter shade of pink and align it on the right side of our ice cream scoop. We'll make this crescent a child layer of the ice cream scoop so it only appears where the ice cream scoop is visible. To do this, we'll drag this crescent layer down and to the right of the pink ice cream scoop. Now we can see that it's only visible where the pink ice cream scoop is. It looks like our layers panel is starting to get a little unorganized, so I'm going to select some of these layers and place them inside of groups. That's looking much better. Next, we're going to make the actual cone for our ice cream. To do this, we'll first start off with the rounded rectangle tool and click and drag to make a rounded rectangle. Then we'll change the color to a light brown. Using the orange handle on the side of the rounded rectangle, we're going to make it even more rounded. And I think I'll make mine just a little more brown. Next, we'll use the triangle tool to make the base of our cone. We'll flip it 180 degrees by using this rotation handle at the top. Then using the move tool, we'll move this triangle so it lines up with the top part of the cone. Then we'll place the triangle on the layer beneath the rounded rectangle and then place them both inside of the same group. We'll then resize and position the cone. Just as we added some highlighting on the right side of these ice cream scoops, we'll make the right half of this ice cream cone lighter as well. We'll use a simpler technique for this highlighting though. First, we'll duplicate the entire group and then make it a slightly lighter shade of brown. Then we'll use the vector crop tool to crop the left side of the ice cream cone. We've now added a highlight to the right side of our ice cream cone. Finally, we're going to add some drips of ice cream coming off each one of these scoops. First, we'll make some drips coming off of the pink ice cream scoop. To do this, we'll use the rounded rectangle tool. Before we do anything though, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see our work better. We want our rounded rectangle to be the same color as this pink ice cream scoop. To do this, we'll use the color picker tool up in the color panel. To use the color picker, just click and drag on it to select this pink color, and then we can load that color into our palette by simply clicking on this circle. Now we'll get back out the rounded rectangle tool and click and drag to make a rounded rectangle. We'll want to make this rectangle as round as it goes. Then we'll also remove the stroke to this drip. Then using the move tool, 
will resize and position it. While holding down Alt or Option, I'll click and drag on this rounded rectangle to duplicate it. Then I'll duplicate it once more. Right now, we have three drips of ice cream coming off of the pink scoop. Instead of having three rounded rectangles come down though, I want the first drip to come down and then for it to be indented before it comes back down again. To do this, we're going to use another rounded rectangle, but this time we'll use a blue one. First, I'm going to take this rounded rectangle and duplicate it, and then I'll give it the same color as this ice cream scoop by using the color picker. Make sure that you have the fill selected, and then you can load this color to your palette. Then I'll bring this blue rounded rectangle down a little bit. And I'll make sure that it's skinny enough so it lines up on the edge of both of these pink scoops. Now if we just bring it down a little bit more, you can see that our drips of ice cream are looking like just what we'd wanted. And if you want, you can always make any of these drips a little bit longer. We're going to repeat the same process to make drips of blue ice cream coming down onto the cone. First, we'll use the rounded rectangle tool to make a rounded rectangle, and then increase its roundness. Then we'll use the move tool to resize and position it. Then we'll duplicate it two times. And then we'll duplicate the middle rounded rectangle and make it the same color as the ice cream cone. Then we'll make this rounded rectangle a little bit smaller. It looks like our middle drip is a little too long, so I'm going to select it and then shrink it. If we look closely, it looks like our brown rounded rectangle is also covering part of the ice cream cone stroke. This doesn't make sense, so we're going to select the brown rounded rectangle and then make it a little bit smaller. Now the stroke is not being covered. Finally, I'll press Command or Control 0 so we can see our entire document. It looks like at some point, the right side of our ice cream cone became pink, so I'll just go ahead and fix that now. And there you have it. We're now done with our cute ice cream cone design.